Welcome to Body Rock, your number one resource for home workouts. This is Coach Jenny here, and today I'm going to lead you through a 12-minute lower body workout. All you're going to need today is your body, your A-game, and a glute band. So, we have four movements to get through today, 50 seconds on, 10 seconds to transition between each exercise, three rounds total, 12 minutes of fun. We're going to get started right away, so within 10 seconds before we start, we're going to start off with the first movement here. It's called banded cha-cha. You're going to grab the band. Roll it down around the ankles, just like so. You're gonna come down into a hip hinge position, and you're gonna step back, step to the side. Back to the side. We're gonna just isolate 25 seconds on one side, and then 25 seconds on the other side. So on the forward here, let's see how I'm just pointing the toes. Here, back, and you're gonna stay low the entire time. So really loading, stabilizing through that left hip. Okay, we've got three more seconds. We're gonna switch sides and switch. Okay, so back to the side. Point that toe. Really slight pinch position, leaning that chest forward. Air, shoulders, hip are in alignment and loading this glute. So back to the side, back to the side. Feeling the burn already. We got eight more seconds on this side and we're gonna come onto the floor for a second movement. Glute bridge, calf raise to an abduction. All right, so now we're gonna come onto the floor. You're gonna roll the band up above the knee, just like so. Come onto your back, keep your shoulder width apart. All right, so hips come up, you're gonna squeeze the butt, lower down, you're gonna lift the heels in and out with those knees, and then heels down, glute bridge. And just keep alternating calf raise, abduction. So glute bridge, one, stay up, in and out. Whew, feeling the burn already. Good. Keep going here, just working on the hip extension here. Keep those abs tight, you're not over flaring that lower back. In and out with those knees. You're gonna keep tension with that resistance band. Don't let your knees collapse towards each other. Keep tension here. So up, up, heel raise, and down. Keep alternating those two. Almost there, feeling the burn. Whew. All right, next up, we got squat to squat pulses. So for 25 seconds, we're just gonna go for body weight squats. 25 seconds, we're gonna stay down and we're gonna pulse it out. So you're gonna sit it down, knees out, chest up, side view here, ear, shoulder, hip, come down and up at the same rate. I'm not rounding forward, I'm keeping that chest up. You're gonna pull the shoulders back and press your hands together to create full body tension. Okay, all the way down, all the way up. And then also watch those knees, don't let them point towards each other, drive it out. Got three more seconds here. Get ready for those pulses. And stay down, we're gonna pulse. Okay, just nice small one inch up, one inch down. Just really hitting your glute max here, keeping that chest up. Get okay, feeling the burn, you got 15 seconds. Whew, we're gonna come on to all fours for glute kickback coming up. Okay, stay low here, let's finish around. One, nice and strong with one more movement. In three, two, and one, awesome. All right, we're gonna come down into that tabletop position. You're gonna anchor the band with your knee. You got 25 seconds on the left, 25 seconds on the right. Okay, so abs tight here, not arching that back. And you're gonna kick back towards the ceiling. Bring it in and kick back. Good. Okay, just working that glute max on this side, one butt cheek at a time. Whew. How do you make sure that you're engaging your glute? So you should feel the burn in that glute, and then if you're ever feeling at your lower back pain, that means you're not squeezing your butt enough. So that's how you know you're engaging your glutes. If your lower back tends to compensate, that's how you know you're not doing it right. So squeeze the butt. Okay, we're gonna switch over to the other side. Okay, and you're stabilizing the left knee, kicking back with the right. Five more seconds, and four, three, Two and one. All right, come up to standing. That's round one. We got two more to go. Back to banded chest shows. So we're gonna roll the band around the ankle. Get left and forward. Back to the side. Back to the side. Okay. Point that toe. Don't let it turn. Point that toe. Side. Okay. And stay low here, keeping that chest forward. Back straight. We've got ten more seconds on the side. Almost there. In three, two, 
and one, and switch. Good, stay low. Bandit chest, it's a little dance here. Okay, really load that glute. Almost there. We got another 13 seconds. Woo! Hope everyone had a wonderful weekend. I had a great weekend this weekend. I attended a gala, I get to dress up. So I'm gonna put a, p a picture of what you wore. Oh yes. Post so people can see. We're gonna come down into the floor. Blue bridge, we got abduction and calf raise. So band goes up, above the knee, hips up. Lift the heels, in and out. I wore a really nice dress. Really flatters the body, so I'm very proud of it. The, great, the, the worst thing about Instagram now though, is you can only wear something once. <laughs> And you can't wear it again, but I'm definitely going to wear this dress again. Here's the thing though, when, when you're over 30 and there's certain clothing that doesn't flatter you, you have to accept that, right? So for me, when I find something that works, buy it in every single color. Good or just- Now you've made everyone curious how old you are. <laughs> what did I wear? No, how old you are. Cause I don't even know how old you are. <laughs> and you don't have to say it. But uh, we know we're over 30 at this point. Yes, we're over 30. <laughs> Stop paying attention to trends, because sometimes trends are not very flattering for our body. We got squat to pulses. So 25 seconds for the squats, 25 second pulses. So sit it down all the way up. So and we were having a great conversation earlier about alcohol. Yes. So the um, thing about alcohol is that I used to be an alcoholic. I used to drink a lot, like I over consume. It's kind of concerning because the amount of alcohol I used to drink. So just go squat, we got five more seconds and then we got those pulses, three, two, and one, and pulse it out. So before I became a personal trainer, I used to be a bottle service girl waitress um, and I'll serve clients all night selling bottles. And a lot of times what happens is I'm obligated to drink with my clients. That's just part of the nature of the job. And uh, as a recovering people pleaser, it's very hard to say no because you don't want to offend anybody. So I turned, became this person who drank a lot. All right, we got glute kickback, coming to that quadruped position. And we're gonna begin with the left side. Halfway through, we're gonna switch. So when I finally decided to quit drinking, I think a lot of it has to do with mindset because I used to identify myself as an alcoholic. So I went from that to telling people, I'm not a drinker, I don't drink. It's just not me, it's, I don't do that. So now I went from drinking almost every single night, I'm gonna switch sides, to I can probably count the amount of times I drink in a year with one hand, right? Because I also understand now that I coach a lot of my clients that a lot of times when I do drink, it leads to a lot of poor behaviors. Um, not just the way I act, but like, it doesn't really align with what I want in my life, with my lifestyle, including late night, binge eating. All right, we're gonna go back to bandit cha cha. Bring the band all the way down. Third set, best set of these, okay? Finish round two already. Here we go. Back to the side. Back to the side. So again, when I drink a lot, it leads to late night eating. I'll probably get a, going to have burgers and fries, which I normally don't eat that during the day, but because um, I just want it when I'm drinking alcohol. So now it's only once every few months kind of occasion. So it's not an everyday occasion. But with a lot of my clients, what I find is if drinking happens to them, on a weekly basis, and these behavior issues happens on a weekly basis, then we have to address that. Then we might have to make a change. But if it happens only, if you're like me, you only drink once every three months, don't worry about it, there's no way, no, no, there's no reason you should be feeling guilt or shame for it. All right, we've got blue bridge and calf raises. Bring the band up, Woo. all right, up. Lift the heels, in and out. So up, lift the heels, in and out. Uh, what else? I overindulge this weekend. So here's another thing I, I talk about a lot is that I, I talk about how food is fuel. We need to pay attention to calories, protein, 
or macronutrients or micronutrients, but food is not all only just fuel. Food is also connection. Food is love. Food is culture. Uh, food is celebration. So we gotta sometimes, if you're on a diet or something, you have to remind yourself that food is all these other things and it's just not tracking your macros. You know what I mean? So you gotta find that balance. When you get to this place, finding that balance is very important. All right, you're gonna come on up. We got squats for 25 seconds, pulses for 25 seconds. So feet are shoulder width apart. There we go. Sit it down all the way up. Good, knees out, chest up. Good, squeezing that butt at the top. You're doing good. We're finishing nice and strong. Whew. Okay, you can go as fast as you like or as slow as you like. As you progress, you can always add a weight to this too. All right, we got three, two, and one, and we're gonna pulse it out. Good, stay nice and low. Try your best not to stand. Challenge yourself. Last round of these. And then we got those glued kickbacks coming up. Whew, feeling the burn here. Almost there. We got it. Keep going. Whew. In three, two, and one. Awesome job. All right, we got those glued kickbacks. Come into that tabletop position. We're gonna anchor the band with your knee, just like so. No arching the back, so abs tight here. And we're gonna kick back towards the ceiling. Bring it down and up. Just isolating this left butt cheek first, and then we're gonna switch over to the other side. So I encourage you to find whatever balance means to you. You know, you can always, broccoli and pizza can coexist. Just so you know, it, it, it coexists in my world. In three, two, one, and switch. I love broccoli, and I also love pizza. And I love gelato, and I love ice cream. All forms of ice cream. We got another 15 seconds left. We're almost there. Let's finish off this workout nice and strong. 10 more seconds. Whew. In five, four, three, two, and one. Great job. Whew, that was a crazy burner. Hope you enjoyed that burn today. And again, by joining, Body Rock, joining me for another workout. You allow me to live my dream every single day. I hope you enjoyed today's chat and today's burn. I'll see you in the next workout.